I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing of some spoons here, the <coughs> metal ladles that my brother-in-law had saved from the dump for me. Unfortunately, it's, they were in another state, and uh, I had to try to figure out how to get them up here. My brother went down uh, to Montana to visit family, so he hauled them back for me, which saved me a ton of money in shipping. I'm going to unbox them. He used a ton of duct tape. He said I owe him a roll of duct tape, because that's about what he used to package them up. And I think he said if, if I cut the back part of it off, they'll slide right out. So hopefully that is the case. got his address and stuff written on the top of the box, so I really don't want to show it on, on YouTube. Huh. I always love getting newspapers from other places. September 3rd. Fire started all the way from Montana. Well, some well used ladles. That is for sure. Diagonal cutters and uh, get them cut open, cut apart. Pretty excited to get these. It's just about time to, to start. Melting lead. I'll get my torch going and see about getting them cleaned up. Hopefully. Crazy dog lady. She's come to make another appearance in my no. video. I need firewood. Firewood? Well, how about we light a fire outside and burn some of this brush?
Good job by uh, wiring these up, Tom. <laughs> wow. That one holds a lot. Holy cow. Have to get a handle built. So we can pick it up. Or even just not sure. Something to swing that on. I can carry it. I can lay it in there. I mean, I might try that first. Let's see if that works. A little bit of playing around with it. Just to see how what the best way to to utilize it will be. This one's a little bit more shallow. Looks like they burnt a hole in the bottom of it at one time. It might not be. It might just be a more of a decoration at this point. That one looks like it's homemade almost. Like they took a, a sheet of metal and bent it into a bowl or into a ladle. Get a little bit better picture of it here. That one looks more handmade. Kind of. Let me see where it just looks like they took a sheet of metal and just heated it up and made a a ladle out of it. The shadows kind of. See if I can get a, good, a better picture of it. Pretty cool, though. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tom. I appreciate that. Hopefully you see this and I'll definitely be giving you a call and letting you know. That one is really exciting. That one, that one I'm 100% sure I can use it to uh, pour the 15 pound downrigger molds that I make. So Now I just have to get a water heater set up so that I can melt lead in a water heater and use that as a just a dip I think not quite sure if that would hold 15 pounds of lead this one would hold 15 pounds of lead or not but it definitely has a I like the pour spouts nice big pour spouts I think that I'm gonna try it I'm not gonna write it off Right away, but very exciting. I'm very happy. <clears throat> nice handles. Uh, so that one is definitely, you know, manufactured as a ladle. This one's homemade. Uh, you can see it was welded right there. But onto onto a handle. Pretty cool. Yeah, and if you didn't know, this is me excited. Very excited. Cool, cool. Thank you. All right. 
So I got the ladles. Got that one cleaned out. Burn out. I didn't worry about this one yet because I haven't decided uh, exactly if I want to use it right away or not. I want to try that one first. And while I'm <clears throat> using that one, I'll just heat this one up and clean it out. Uh, but I am really looking forward to the, using these. There will be a lead melting video soon. Uh, the, weather permitting um, I just couldn't do it today probably won't be able to get to it tomorrow because I have other other uh, things that I had planned and I need to get done 